Uh oh, titties are titty. <laughs> <laughs> After that, and we'll just see what happens from there. Shit wakes you up, man. It's my coffee right here. Hey guys, so this will be my heavy set. I might just do two or so. Uh, it's like I'm losing weight right now when I cut, so I am losing a little strength, but I'm trying to keep most of it. So. As long as I can bench 405 for now, I'm not happy. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. Probably get it for two. No spotter. You hear that? Spotters are for losers. <laughs> sure it's enough to struggle but you don't want to be given out after the second or third one so I'll probably do about 10 just nice and slow stretch it at the bottom really stretch it Come up. put the focus right on the chest back down one two three four boom explode back up one two three Usually do a five count on the way down, and then three count on the way up. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, boom, stretch, five. Right there. Folks don't get the blood in there, get the pump. Oh. It's not even that much weight, but. We're gonna go try to get on a dumbbell or a bench now. So we'll probably go kick someone off or something. You know, we'll go scare them off real quick. I'm not using this no more. <laughs> I 
after I do bench or something, I want to open up my chest. I want to get the blood in there, really make sure I'm tearing the muscle fiber. So after a good compound movement like this, uh, I always come over here. I'll go moderately heavy on these flies, uh, but really it's just to open up the chest, make your chest wider. On these incline, it's helping with the upper chest. So a lot of people lack the upper chest. So this is a great movement to just help develop the overall. Uh, you can lay flat, you can lay on the incline, even decline. Definitely my top three favorite. Uh, right behind bench though, I like keeping it old school. Go heavy bench, then I start working on my accessory lift stuff like that. That's the best way I've done it to help get my chest like how it is. So yeah guys, flies, bench press. Then we'll probably go do some machines. Probably a little bit of abs. I never thought I'd say that, but I'll probably do some abs today. <laughs> with chest flies, it's not all about the weight. You know, obviously you want to push yourself, you know, get a good round of reps. You know, shoot for eight to 10. Uh, I usually go more than that. I really don't really count my reps, but I make sure to get eight to 10 quality reps, and then the rest can be kind of breaking form. But I'm not breaking form like that. I'm just doing that to help get the weight up, still contracting my muscles, really get the blood in there. You know, you're not trying to just fly 100 pounds. You know, you want to take it nice and slow. Like I said, control. Boom, 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 boom. Right here. Then squeeze it. Like you almost have like a penny in between your chest you're trying to squeeze. Okay, so right here I'm gonna do dumbbell bench. And I think with dumbbell you can really stretch out and really stretch your chest back. I have double jointed shoulders. So if it looks like it's hurting my shoulders, it's not. It's just I'm double jointed, so just kind of run through it. Towards the end of my workout, so I'm really, I'm burnt out. But it's important to really push your body, push the weight limit you can. At least for me, that's what I've always done. You know, you don't want to just constantly just pump light weight. Uh, I mean, it'll work, but if you want to get like actually big, you need to pump some heavy weight. So what's happening, guys? We're gonna do a burnout here. I just finish up the workout. So with these, I'm gonna do incline push-ups. Focus on the, getting the blood in the chest, like I've been preaching this whole workout. You know, that makes the difference is when you can actually get the blood in the chest, get it working. So we'll do this. We'll get a, probably on a good incline, so we can really get a good stretch. Let's see what we got. All right, guys, so that's it. We ran through about a good five, six things you can do for your chest. Like I've been preaching this whole time, man, just get the blood in your chest, help it grow. Peace.